You know, writing for content mills really isn't all that bad. Hello and welcome to Writer's Sanctuary and today I hope to answer the question, can you make $100 per day writing for TextBroker? TextBroker is a content mill system that connects you as a writer to other clients who need work. Most of the time these clients just need regular blog posts, product descriptions, and sometimes a news article or two. But one of the things that upsets people the most about content mills is how you're not really paid all that well. And granted, I don't make nearly as much on TextBroker as I do with my retaining private clients, but content mills are a good way to get some practice in, get some money in your pocket, and give you some experience which is quite helpful when you're trying to collect clients of your own. The first thing that's going to modify how much you make on TextBroker is the amount of work you put into it. As a level 3 writer, it's going to take you about 10,000 words to bring in $100 per day. If you're a level 4 writer, this means 7,143 words. And in reality, that's a lot of content. Now speaking for myself, I can type 68 words a minute, well at least that's what it was in the last time I took a test. Based on my writing speed, my ability to proofread, and my researching ability for each article I complete, I can do about a thousand words an hour. So this means I would have to put in a good seven solid hours or more just to hit the hundred dollar mark. And this is time that you actually spend writing. Getting up to go to the bathroom, taking a break, making dinner, taking care of the kids, taking care of the animals. Anytime you're not writing content is money that's being taken away from you. That's probably one of the biggest drawbacks to writing for content mills like TextBroker. You are paid for production. Jesus, you're noisy. Now, does that mean that you have to stick to 10,000 words a day as a level 3 writer? Not really. There's a lot of different things that affect how much money you make on TextBroker. I'll go over those here in a minute. But the gist of it is, you're only going to get paid as long as you put in the effort. Grabbing an article and then waiting for the whole 24 hours to finish it isn't going to help. Secondly, what's going to affect how much money you make on TextBroker is the amount of orders that are available. When I first started, there was several times when there was lulls in as level 3 where there was absolutely no work. This would go on for like 2 or 3 days at a time. That's one of the biggest reasons why I started diversifying myself and writing for more than just TextBroker. If there wasn't work on TextBroker, I'd pick up work on Writer Access. But the amount of workflow that you get is going to impact how much you make per day. Now there's a lot of experts out there who say you can make $100 per day on TextBroker. What they don't tell you though is that it doesn't always come out that way. You have to rely on a certain steady flow of work. If there isn't any orders, you're not going to make any money. That's why it's important to spread yourself out across as many systems as you can. On top of looking for private clients, keep yourself busy. The next biggest thing that's going to affect how much you make on TextBroker are the different types of pay you get. When you first start with TextBroker, the majority of your orders are probably going to come from the open pool, which is what I was talking about earlier. It's where you collect jobs from clients, finish them, submit them, and then you get paid for it. However, you also have direct orders and teams that can come into play. Direct orders are nice because you actually control how much you get paid for them. If someone is willing to pay your fee, then all the better. In fact, a big portion of the money that I make on TextBroker is from direct order clients. So as a level 4, instead of the 1.4 cents a word that I'm getting, I'm actually getting more than 3. Hell, one client I was charging more than 5. And they were happy to pay it. They loved my work. And that's the key. The open pool is nice and all, but what you really want to do in TextBroker is get direct orders and get on teams. Some of the teams on TextBroker will drop thousands of orders per month, and a lot of them will charge almost double what you can get as level 4. And most of the teams that I belong to are stupid easy to write. They're just basic blogs that want to fit it on certain content and you're good to go. A lot of them will just give you a single keyword to put anywhere in the article and then let you have at it. So they're great. They're wicked fast. Those are the ones I usually average about $25 an hour writing because I can crack out so many of them. But anyway, that's the key to TextBroker. Not the open pool, direct and teams. The next thing that's going to influence whether you make $100 a day is going to be the knowledge of the subject matter. The more you know of a certain topic, the easier it is for you to write. Not only does content seem to flow out better, but you spend less time doing research as well. Now, don't get me wrong, researching for the topic is still necessary to a certain extent. You want to make sure you're handing the client the most relevant and current information possible. Knowing the subject matter just makes everything fly by so much faster. And since you're paid for production on TextBooker, the faster you're able to get things done, the more money you make. Next, you want to consider your writing skills. Your abilities as a writer are going to influence how much you make no matter where you go. Doesn't matter if you have a private client or if you write for text broker. Someone who types 68 words a minute who is fluent in the subject matter is going to make far more money than somebody who has to hunt and peck the keyboard doing 15 to 20. As a freelance writer, in most cases, you're paid for production, which means you need to crack out material as quickly as possible without making mistakes. 
So improving your writing ability, improving your grammar, spelling, all of that rolls in to how much you make on any system. And the better you are at freelance writing, the more money you're going to make on Text Broker. And lastly, the number of distractions you face during the day are going to greatly impact how much you make. Like I keep saying, most content mills are paying for production, which means you need to keep working no matter what. Anytime you move away from the keyboard is costing you. This includes getting sucked into things like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, playing games. But the key element to it is to try to limit your distractions as much as possible. For example, I'll write for about 90 minutes a day. I then take a break, like go outside and walk the dog, do some laundry. Just a few minutes to get up and away from the keyboard. Then I'll come back and write for another 90 minutes. I'll keep doing that throughout the entire day. I'll try really hard to not even look at YouTube until my day is over. That is, unless I'm doing research on a certain topic. But then I gotta be careful because I see that recommended list and I start clicking. My point is, is that if you wanna make $100 per day on Text Broker, you've got to keep the distractions down to a minimum. You have to keep yourself focused. Otherwise, you won't accomplish much. So, can you make $100 per day on Text Broker? Absolutely. However, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of work to reach that goal. And for some of those people who say you can make $500 a day on Text Broker, I would like to shake their hand. Because in my experience, $500 a day is pushing it. In fact, I don't think I would ever be able to write that much. Because even on a level 5 team, I was only able to bring in, I think I was pushing $300 that day. And that was once a month. Just understand that the amount of money you make on Text Broker is influenced by a lot of different things. I can't guarantee that you'll make $100 a day. But I can guarantee that you'll make an impact if you put in the work. So what's your favorite content mail system if you use one? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. That's going to do it for me today. And I hope to see you tomorrow.